Hello and welcome to the NERPG Minimap Wizard tutorial. In this video I will be demonstrating how to use the Minimap Wizard included with NERPG to make a minimap for your level. If you don't have a copy of NERPG, it's a free download available at nerpg.org slash downloads as a full Unity package. It's also available on GitHub as a complete Unity project that you can import. For this demo, I'll be demonstrating using the Features Demo Game, which you can find by going to Tools and ERPG Welcome Window, and then clicking on Features Demo Game to load the Features Demo Game. Now the first question is why would you want to use the minimap wizard? Because any RPG by default will actually create a minimap for you when you load the level. To demonstrate this, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new game here. And now we can see the issue. If I hit the map button here, you can see all this cyan colored stuff around here. And on the mini map, if I zoom out, you can see that half of the trees and some of the buildings are also cyan colored rather than being the color that they should be. The reason for this is because when Unity loads the level, it actually fires an event that lets you know that the level is loaded, but it will actually fire that event regardless of whether or not it's properly loaded the textures for these objects yet. And so when Unity or when any RPG goes to actually render this map, um, which is also used for the mini map, then Unity's basically told it, hey, everything's loaded, you know, you're good to go, but it really hasn't been loaded and so when the camera attempts to render it Unity is just going to pull up this blank cyan texture instead. Apparently this isn't an option if you actually build the game as Unity will preload everything into memory but in the editor it does more of like an on-demand or on-the-fly loading of these textures. So let's go ahead and solve that problem so we don't get any of that cyan color stuff happening with the automatic minimap render. To do that we want to actually load the level so I am just going to search for the features demo zone and this is the zone that I want to load here and you don't have to do what I'm doing um, and play around with the orientation because the minimap is going to automatically pick the center of every object in the scene and then position itself at basically the sort of highest point in the level automatically. Um, but I'm just doing this to show you what the map is going to render. All we have to do is go to Tools, NERPG, Wizard, and Minimap Wizard. The camera clear flags don't matter in this case because the level is completely square, but if we had like a rectangular level that wasn't completely square, then because the camera is going to render a square image, we could either fill the background with a skybox or some other color, whatever we wanted. Um, in this case, like I said, it doesn't really matter because this level is completely square. And I'm going to adjust the pixels per meter on this down to about five. If you set this pixels per meter too high and make too high of a resolution for the minimap, um, I've actually noticed that Unity throws errors because the, the video card takes so long to render it that Unity actually thinks that the video card crashed or something. So if you do get errors, just play around with this pixels per meter value. Now I'm going to click on create and the minimap wizard is going to automatically figure out the geometry of this level based on the extents and bounds of basically every collider and renderer inside the level and then position itself in the exact center at the top facing directly downwards. If we click on OK and open up the features demo game you can see that there is a new folder here called Images and Minimap, and I can double click on that 
and zoom in. And you can see that now I have a nice minimap rendered and this is going to render properly in the game. So let's just go ahead and close this and we'll press play and we should see a proper minimap in the image without any of that cyan stuff due to the way that Unity is um, basically sort of lazy loading the textures. And now we have a proper minimap showing up and a proper map showing up without any of those weird textures. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up or subscribe to the NERPG YouTube channel. And if you would like to see any other tutorials in the future, then go ahead and leave a note in the comments with what you would like to see. And I will try to prioritize it as I create all the tutorials for this project. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next video.